when you build a financial model, one of the questions you'll need to answer is should you create a single input cell? For example, here I've got a tax rate, and you'll see these formulas all look to that tax rate. Or should we use a tax rate like this? And you'll see I've just created it so that it links to the previous cell. And my formula in this case looks like that. Theoretically, both work, and you can see that this probably matches best practice better. However, we recommend that for the robustness of the model, you consider something like this for inputs that you are not sure they will always stay the same. So in most cases, both will work. So let's say the tax rate is 28%, and for whatever reason we decide that actually needs to change to, say, 35%. I change that one, I get an answer, I change this one, I get the same answer. Where this helps though, is what happens if you're told that the tax rate is not going to change now, but in year six it's going to change to a new rate. Suddenly the robustness of your model will be affected and some of your formulas are going to need to change. So if we use the first method, then what we're going to have to do is go to every formula that looks at that tax rate and make a change so that in this case we've built a little lookup to say in year one you'll be 28%, year six you'll be 35% and you'll see we've got a formula that looks there. The problem is you can see it's a slightly bigger formula and you're going to have to go and find every cell that uses the 28% and change it to look something like that. Whereas if you had built it like this, so here's our formula or our input, and you'll see our formula goes across. At the point where it changes, we just need to change that row of inputs. So you'll see I've made that 35%, colored it blue, so we now know it's input. And you'll see that just carries across. If we've built the model correctly, Anything that was looking at this 28% has been built in this way. So if a change is made, and it's not made consistently or in the original input, this method is much better. We go to the row of inputs, we make the change, and we're comfortable that all our formulas were looking at the right place. With this method, we're going to have to find every cell that, make, that made use of the 28%, and correct it in some way to address this. When you've come to the end of a modeling process, this is safer, more robust, easier to change than this method here.